Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today I'm going to show you how to solve that issue really quickly when you get pink materials or pink objects within your scene. Often when you grab things from the Unity Asset Store, like this example here of this furnished cabin, it was specifically built with shaders for the standard render pipeline or the built-in render pipeline. And often a lot of new developers want to use the universal render pipeline, which is often recommended by Unity or HDRP. Now, the difference is when you import an asset from the store, you can look at their materials and you can see that by default, if it's pink, it's often using the standard shader because that's the default shader that was used in the standard render pipeline. I'll give you an example. If you find anything on the store that you want to import and it is causing that issue, you can just add this to your assets and then open up in Unity. Then you can go to Window Package Manager and under your assets, you can search for that pack. This is the furnished cabin in my case and import that in and you will get a folder with all the materials. Now, in previous versions of Unity, you could go to Edit, Rendering, Materials, and you could convert all materials. Now, if I have got them all selected, I can convert selected materials by default. There's a newer version in Unity 2021 and above. If you go to Window, Rendering, and then a Render Pipeline Converter, click that box. You can convert everything to be used in whichever version of URP you're after. So we want to convert built in to in an hour case we're just going to create built in to urp because you can use built in to 2d assets if you're using a specific 2d set of assets but we're just going to build them to default urp now you can update render settings if you want our main case here is to upgrade materials you can upgrade animation clips and use a read-only material converter, but we're only going to want to upgrade materials. Then what we're going to do is analyze the converters. So in this case, you don't need to actually find the ones in the folder. It will analyze your scene for you. It will tell you which ones in your scene need upgrading. So then when we click convert assets, you'll have to give Unity a second to compute those changes. And then if we select any of our new assets, you can see that they've been changed to the universal render pipeline lit style shader, which is as close to the standard shader as possible. And it does re-add all of our materials that were on the standard material from the built-in render pipeline. So now we have everything absolutely converted to use over in URP. And be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 175 different scripts assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out all the links in the description for all the great sales, savings and everything that you can find in game dev and be sure to check out all my great assets on the Unity store and all the massive savings on my website. Big thank you to all my patrons including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Manas Barakas, Walter Dunson, Rene Leisure, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getterjank, Hush, Thomas Mercerleski, Caleb Murray, Mark Rondu, Marvin Church, Hoagland, Nigoyan, Curry for Life Gaming, Sung G Park, Brandon Mannion, Austin Certain, and Gene White Quaid, Duran Cooper, James McCarthy, Johan Lixon, Saint Leslie Winter, Heather Fletcher, Mark Facon, Andre Ferreira, Larry Antu, Dylan C, Pablo, Liam Gray, Eric Young, Woblin Lynn, Dennis Foreman, Lemu, Shane Finley, and Carl Frederick. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.